guys, it's Desmond here, and today I thought I'd like to do a video on uh, running ESR patched games on the PlayStation 2. I apologize for not uploading YouTube videos in a while, because I've just been so busy with other things like school, and just doing, just doing research on things I can do, so I can have plenty of content to show you guys. I apologize if I sound a little weird. It's because I'm kind of sick, and here, let me adjust the camera, so that we can see my whole TV screen. There we go. Um, so yeah, I apologize. Uh, there's a user that commented on my uh, PlayStation 2 hard drive video saying, oh yeah, we're ready for more videos. I really do apologize. I said I'd upload more. And I haven't done it in a while. In fact, I uploaded Minecraft videos rec more recently instead. Um, so yeah, I plan on doing some more PlayStation 2 videos. This is going to be for already modded users of the PlayStation 2. To be able to, uh, you know, run burned games and imported games on their PlayStation 2. In order to run the... Uh, burned and imported uh, games on your PlayStation 2, they have to be patched with a game called ESR, with a uh, program called ESR Patcher. Uh, I already did that for one of the games, I'm just showcasing the ability to play the burned game. So, yeah. Let me get my burned PlayStation 2 game here. Now this is both burned and an import, so that it can showcase both the ability to play burned and imported games. Uh, so yeah, um, here's the game, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, it was a Japanese release, they made a Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Final Remix for the PlayStation 3, but nobody, not many people in the United States know of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So, this is a Japanese imported game that has been patched for, uh, English. So, a lot of users might make snide remarks about, oh, it's in, uh, it's in English, so it's not a Japanese game. Well, it was in Japanese, but then I had to go in and patch it for English to be able to play. So let me insert the disc in my PlayStation 2. Just an FYI for users out there. I'm running off of a different version of FreeMic Boot called Free HD Boot. It allows me to boot FreeMic Boot off of its hard drive and leave the memory cards clear of FreeMic Boot so it has plenty of memory. All right, so let's uh let's open up Kingdom Hearts. So it is running a burned game. It's going to flash some colors and then it will launch the game. Now I know there are users out there who are looking for the uh, ability to be able to play burned games on their PlayStation 2. I'm going to, uh, in this video, also show you how to uh, patch games. So we're going to go over to the computer side soon to be able to showcase the ability to patch games for ESR. Also provide download links to all the programs in the description, and yeah. As you guys can see, it works just fine. And if you haven't noticed, over on your right hand side, I believe, there is the Japanese text, and on the left side, there's the English text. So, yeah. As you can see, it's Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So let's uh, power off my PlayStation. Oh, bump the camera. I'm going to power off my PlayStation, then we're going to shoot over to the computer side to uh, show you how to patch the games, because I have a game I'm ready to patch. Now, you, just an FYI, you can pretty much download any game you want to do this with, but that's considered piracy. <laughs> you can download the ROMs off of Cool ROM, and you can patch them, and they work. I'll admit it, I've done it. In fact, that's what I had to do to get this game. Uh, so yeah, 
I will provide download links to all the programs in the description, and this is just showcasing the ability to play a burned slash imported game. Alright, so let's shoot over to the computer side. What's up guys, it's Desmond here. We're now on the computer side of things, so I can uh, show you guys, here let me close out all of these videos. So I can show you guys how you uh, patch games for the PlayStation 2 using ESR. So I'm using this program called ESR Disk Patcher. This is what we use to patch the game so that they are actually playable as burned games on your modded PlayStation 2. Uh, you don't require; it doesn't need a mod chips or anything, but it does require that you have a DVD R. All right. Now I've heard that it works with DVD Plus R's, but DVD dash R's. I'm using the Sony DVD dash R. Uh, just for the purpose of keeping everything Sony so that we don't have any weird compatibility issues. So let me insert my disc here. Okay, so now that everything's set and ready, let's click patch. Now you browse to where your ISO is. So as you can see, these are all the games I've already patched. Uh, to run on my PlayStation 2. Now, ICO doesn't work when you try to patch it. It doesn't work. I've tried, and for some reason there's a weird issue with that one. But let's do Dirge of Cerberus. I haven't patched that one yet. Alright, so the patching process completed successfully. So now we go over to Daemon Tools, or whatever disk burning software you have that burns ISOs. So let me find Daemon Tools on my messy desktop. Alright. And then you click Burn Image. Now this is where uh, you have to set the burn speed a little bit different. A lot of people are just used to clicking Burn just start without messing with any settings but you have to turn the burn speed down to four uh, four times so here we go and then you burn it and we'll shoot back over to the PlayStation side after this is done burning so and yeah. we're back on the PlayStation 2 end of things I got my uh, dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7 copy burned as you can see here it is a burned disc in the DVD dash R Sony and uh, yeah it's patched with ESR so we can now play it on the PlayStation 2 uh, it was actually pretty easy to do and You'd have to be a complete imbecile to screw up patching a PS2 game for ESR. So now we're over to our ESR.elf, which I'll have a download link for this uh, free McBoot app in the description below. So let's wait for it to detect and we'll see if it works because some games it's kinda iffy on some games actually work uh... So yeah. and there are some options for launching games on uh, the ESR launcher um, use those if your game doesn't work right off the bat and sometimes troubleshooting using that will work and as we can see here it is launching So. Yeah. Let's uh, watch the opening because this is actually one of the first times I've ever seen this game. Now, this is a backup of a uh, game I borrowed from a friend. So, I had to give back the disc so I created an ISO and I was doing research how to do the whole ESR thing. So I'd be able to play the game. I'm pretty sure they have a PS3 version of the game, too. No 
those cutscenes, though. So let's skip past this to get to the main menu of the game. Oh wow. Let's look at extra features. I'm, I'm, I've never played this game before, so... Oh. Comes with an art gallery. Cool. I didn't know. So as you can see, the game clearly works just fine. It's just like playing a normal PlayStation 2 game. And it is playing off of the disc. Now I'm using RGB cables for my PlayStation 2 so that uh, I have better video output, which you can actually buy RGB cables. I'm using the Blue Monster RBG cable um, so I can play the PS2 in the 720x480 resolution as opposed to the 320x240 resolution of an AV cable. All seems pretty self-explanatory. Alright, so let's see how well this game plays. So as you guys can see, it plays just like a normal PlayStation game. All you have to do is go through like two extra steps to launch a burned game, and uh, it works just fine. So if you have free McBoot installed, you can do this, and I will have a tutorial on how to install free McBoot yourself, it's just I don't have all the materials to do it right now, as I actually purchased a free McBoot memory card from somebody. So. Oh, those cutscenes though, I love uh, uh, Square Enix and what they do with their uh, CG scenes. I want you to check the Mako cannon. But we already. What the? Just as I thought. Hold on. Hold on. This is crazy. There's no way anybody could be up there. No! UV. Rendezvous with Cloud and the others. It looks like I still have some. See, so yeah, I'm not going to record any more as I'm pretty sure that I'd be breaking some kind of copyright law. So. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll have links in the description and uh, forum links for further tutorials. Thank you for watching. Desmond out.